Hi, my name is Mike Koenigs, and I'm going to demonstrate for you today how to use the NewTek TriCaster Mini and do a live stream with YouTube Live. I am making this video today because when I got the NewTek TriCaster Mini, I could not figure out how to make it stream live. And then when I got the advanced edition, that was also a little bit confounding and confusing to me. So I thought this would be super helpful and useful to you. But also there's something else that's really, really cool. And that is in the latest edition, one of the things that uh, Tri New Tech added was support for true 1080p. In the past, all of the TriCasters were limited. Unless someone else figured out something I don't know, it was limited to 720p. And this has made a huge difference in the quality of the productions that we're doing and also the screen quality when we're actually doing screencasting demonstrations. So with that, what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to cut over to my TriCaster interface. And I'll tell you one of the great things that I love that in the past wasn't working for me if, it, if they had it, was the ability to launch a web browser. And um, I can dial up and actually go right into YouTube, okay, which is pretty cool. And um, if I want to create an event, I just go inside here, click on Creator Studio. At least that's the shortcut that I use. Click on Video Manager. By the way, I will publicly say this. Whoever designed YouTube's user interface um, should be punished. It's one of the most confounding, difficult to th use things I've ever used. But I just clicked on the New Live Event. I'm going to give this thing a title. So I'm going to call it How to Set Up YouTube Live Streaming with the New, New uh, Tech TriCaster Mini Advanced Edition. You um, can type in you know, any particular date or time, you know, whenever you want this to show up, whether it's going to be public or unlisted. I'm going to choose unli unlisted. Make sure you check on Custom. And you want to do that for a big reason here. Because when I click on Create Event, I want to make absolutely certain that uh, I can go in here and I can choose 3,000 to 6,000 kbps, okay, that's 1080p, right? And then I want to make sure that I download the export settings right here and save this. And I am going to call this um, how to set up, okay, I'll put new in front of that. Click on save. All right, now that I've done that, here's something else that's very, very important. I have learned that if you don't close this window by clicking on the X box, um, you're not able to bring up your uh, browser window again. And I may want to do that a little bit later. So at this point, I click on the little gear icon, go under YouTube Live, click on that gear icon. And uh, now I'm going to want to click on Import Settings. Make sure that your, the profile you choose is, in fact, 1920 by 1080. Okay. Um, Click on the import settings. Click on the export that you just did, the export settings. Click on OK. And at this point, I can click on Stream. Now, what's awesome about this is at this point, this thing should be queuing up and getting ready to rock and roll. And um, instead of showing you this particular screen um, by bringing up the, the window, I want to uh, because I could, in fact, do all this. I, I'll just show you how this would work. I can click on it, click on web browser, theoretically anyway. Yep, just, I just learned something new, which is while you click on stream, you can't bring up a, a web browser again. Fortunately, I have my handy dandy um, computer over here. And I, I will overlay that for you. And in fact, just to make this even easier, I am going to uh, show you a full screen of YouTube. Click on over here again to uh, Creator Studio. Go under Video Manager. Click on Live Events. And uh, right there it is. I go into my live control room. Now, at this point, I need to click on Preview. The reason for that is, uh, and here you can see we got our health is good. That's a good sign. All right. Now, one thing that I have noticed, this is not an always, but very frequently, I have to refresh the page and then click on Start Streaming. So I'll click on Start Streaming. 
and it'll take approximately a minute or so before this video is running. So I'm going to switch back over to me, and uh, we will, in fact, be able to see when that thing starts rolling. And just to make this even more um, interesting and dynamic, I'm going to cut to full screen. So as soon as our streaming live video catches up to us, um, we'll be able to see it playing in the background. Now, the reason why that happens, and just expect that there's anywhere from a 30-second to a one-minute delay, that's been my experience with YouTube Live, um, that is because, and there you can see it just started up, so it took however long that was to catch up. That's because Google or YouTube is in fact firing up a bunch of servers and they're also um, converting the signal so it can be seen on a multitude of different devices. So um, if you just think about what YouTube and Google are providing to us for free right now, in my opinion, it's absolutely astonishing. Um, now we're seeing a loop and a loop and a loop, which is pretty funny. I'll, uh, I'll cut so you can actually see the, uh, the main camera. Okay, that's, uh, that's the video. But um, pretty impressive anyway. Um, so here's uh, the, the bottom line. That, what you're seeing, in fact, is a loop within a loop because you're watching the previews that I'm um, actually uh, sending downstream. So I'll, I'll put something else to overlay here. Um, let's see. Is actually pretty funny. Um, there we go. So at least we'll have something else to look at in a moment. But um, the the key to all this is, first of all, I think the New Tech TriCaster Mini is an astonishingly great piece of hardware, and uh, the fact that they um, support streaming, they've got Wi-Fi support, which I don't recommend for doing any streaming. However, it sure as heck is convenient and all the other features and capabilities this thing can do are just mind-blowing. Um, the addition of 1080p support, fantastic. And um, um, I have found this to be remarkably easy to produce shows. Even when I'm um, streaming like I am right now, I can actually produce a program by myself, send it downstream, do training and education with multiple devices. Um, very, very impressive. So I don't know what else to say to you except I hope you enjoyed this. What I'm going to do right now is uh, finish this with a little title screen. There we go. And um, I'll cut back to camera four, overlaid like that. Um, but I want to thank you so much. My name is Mike Koenigs. Like I said earlier, I put up my lower third. And if you want to learn more about what I'm doing right now, I've actually produced a series of programs um, called the Webcast Profit Toolkit. And it's all about using live streaming video to build, engage, and monetize an audience. And it's designed for working editors, people who want to start their own businesses, doing live streaming video as a business, or authors, experts, speakers, consultants, and co coaches that want to build their brand, expand their reach, share their message using live streaming video. So I hope you enjoyed this, and uh, maybe we'll see each other online very soon. Bye now.